Hello and welcome to another Minecraft build tutorial and today we are doing something awesome, a huge medieval fortress in Minecraft and I cannot wait to show you guys this build and teach you how to build it because it is really simple. It is a totally symmetrical build where you're only going to have to learn how to build the towers and the walls and then the tower in the middle so it's going to be super fun, super easy for you to build in survival and don't forget to subscribe guys but let's get into the materials. Now real quick, a few substitutions to the materials. The anvil is not necessary, you can just use a wall or a block. And also the blackstone, if you aren't that far in and you don't have enough blackstone, don't worry, you can just use dark oak or something else like that guys. But everything else should be good and get your materials ready because we're about to start. So the first thing I want to do is get a layout. Now all you need here is a temporary block like dirt or something, just a bunch of them to get a layout on the ground and this is what we're going to do. We're going to start here at the top right tower and we're going to go three blocks across, diagonal three blocks across and do that all the way around just like that and that'll be the outline for our tower. From here we're going to go one, two, three, four, five blocks and then put one here and here, those are going to be our two pillars and then leave a three block gap and then put two more of those. And then another wall. So there should be one, two, three, four, five between these middle two, but only three between these front two right here. Hopefully that makes sense. Then we're continuing the same thing. So two, three, four, five, and then it goes into our tower. So we go like this, make our second tower just like that. And that's the first wall completely done. Now we can repeat this outline all the way around the whole thing till we get all four towers and walls. So one, two, three, four, five. Our little pillars leave a three block gap boom our little pillars again one two three four five and then our another tower right here and then next we can just continue this once more that way and then that way and hopefully you guys can get this done yourself easily so there you go guys that's what the outline should look like and that sheep i thought i killed all the sheep whatever but that's what the outline should look like if you need a refresher and hopefully you have this because now we're actually going to get started so we need to build a tower and this is going to be the same way we build all four of the towers so the time in that is in this video right here check the time right now because you're going to come back to this four times to rebuild the towers if you need help every time so here we go this is what we're going to do guys all four of these are all both of those sides right there we're going to put a piece of wood just like this. this is a spruce log and we're going to do this all the way around like that so you should have all of those and this is actually going to come up three tall so you can bring them up right now and we're going to do this again all the way around the whole thing and then you need to have an entrance side and so we're going to face the front this way so this is where i'm going to put my entrance side and you're just going to come inside and place a door just like that super simple and then a stair upside down underneath it now we're going to fill in these three sides with stone bricks just like this really really simple easy part right here just fill it in with stone bricks and there we go we have the base of the tower the next thing we're gonna do is grab our spruce stairs and go just like this all the way around the first layer here boom and then we're gonna do the same thing except go upside down like that and bring it all the way around now there's something else I have to point out that's gonna be a little bit different when you make it to a side that has a wall like this you need to leave a gap so we're gonna leave a gap there and there actually too because the wall is gonna go slightly into that so it'll be the same on this side since the wall is here we're just gonna have to leave a gap of these two stairs just like that hopefully that makes sense because obviously the walls need to go into the stairs a little bit now what we're gonna do is grab our stairs and go on either side of the door with an upside down stair and a fence and a lantern and we're gonna do this on every single side actually we're gonna go with a fence and a lantern on top of an upside down stair now if you aren't rich enough to get all these lanterns then I'm sure you could just use something else or you could just put uh, maybe leaves or something on top of this or forget the fence and just use lanterns or who knows I'm sure you can come up with an alternative or just leave the stairs if you don't have enough for the fences and the stairs guys just place these stairs this way instead of of upside down but enough guys we're gonna move on to the walls we're gonna bring four walls nine blocks high of randomized stone bricks and stone so it's completely random guys nothing is is in a pattern or anything all the way up nine blocks tall so that's four five six seven eight nine and then we just completely random whatever we place we place you know do this in survival that's why the material count is probably not perfectly correct with these two um, amounts of materials so we're gonna do this wall on all four sides and then you'll be good and there we go all four sides are done so now we can do the windows what we're gonna do for that is come to the front here and this is for the very front window we're gonna place a trapdoor one block above just like this and then we're gonna put 
a stair right here with a trapdoor on either side. Fences above that. Trapdoors, stair, and another trapdoor. And then we're going to pop a window in right here. Now we're going to do the same window on this side that is exposed over here. But guys, over here where the walls are, it's going to be a little bit different. So let me show you. What we're going to do is we're going to take the trapdoors and bring it right over here. Boom. Fences again. Trapdoors, stair, trapdoor, and then break out these two. Put a window, an upside down stone brick stair, and then break out those two because that's where the entrance for the walkway is going to be. It looks a little weird now, but trust me, when we get the walls in, it'll look fine. So you're going to put this type of window anywhere where the walls are connecting to the tower but you're going to put this type of window on the two sides that are looking out not with walls so i'm going to do that right now with the windows in place we're ready to start the roof so on all four sides we're going to put an upside down stair just like this and then we're going to come up and we're going to grab our slabs which i need to get out right here we're going to bring the slabs out one block right here all the way around just all the way around not on the stairs though leave the stairs alone for now but it's just going to be diagonal slabs all the way around just like that it should look simple something like this but then we're going to bring a stair out just like that boom and now it's going to be a full diagonal all the way around and the stair is on the edges just like that there we go this is what it should look like and from underneath as well now we need to grab our blackstone and we're going to bring one layer all the way around just like this Boom, and then we're going to bring these corner pieces up one more, just like that. Next thing we're going to do is fill in this and bring it up one. So we're going to do that on all four sides as we do all of this, guys. So there we go. It should look just like this. And then we're going to come in one on all four sides. And we're going to go in one like this. Boom, there we go. And then straight across on all of these sides. There we go. And it's going to create a square just like that don't be worried it's not don't worry it's not gonna be square for long sorry guys i'm having a really hard time talking this morning for some reason i'm not sure why but just bear with me as i try and explain this to you but we're gonna bring this one up three tall just like this all the way around boom there we go and then in the very middle we're gonna bring it up one two three once again now at the very tip guys again like i said you don't have to use an anvil but it's what i would use and there we go we can use the anvil stone wall fence and iron bar now if you can't afford five anvils for the build then i would just get rid of the anvil and leave it like that or you can place another block here but i like the anvil if you can get your hands on it finally guys there's one more thing we have to do for this tower right here and it's going to be a little bit of pattern so come to the front here we're going to do this trap door stair trap door trap door trap door stair and a trap door now we're going to repeat this on all of the sides. So it's going to look exactly the same all the way around. As you can tell, we're just going to be doing this. Boom, there we go. So there's two sides done. Now let's go do all four. So we have the tower 100% done, and that's one of four towers. Now what you could do is go around and place your towers in or you could place your tower in and your wall in and then go around and do those two at the same time but what i'm going to do here is now take this tower i have rotate it and put it on all four of these sides now guys when you go to do the tutorial one more time to follow the tutorial for the tower just make sure these sides with the walls you have lined up correctly for example i built it this way if you do it the same over here you're going to have your gaps on this side when there's no wall here so just make sure you're accounting for which side has the walls and changing it based on that guys hopefully that makes sense and hopefully you can get all four towers done easily and here we go i have all of mine and just as a reminder if you haven't started building them already guys let me show you exactly what i was talking about see this side doesn't have the gap that that side does because there's no wall on this side but it does have the gap over here see i had to rotate the building slightly to make it work there we go hopefully that makes a lot more sense now that you can see it visually but if you have your four towers done we can start the walls and if you don't go do it Good luck. I hope it doesn't take you too long. Time for the walls. Here we are. Let's start the walls. And again, keep note of the time right now, guys, because you're probably going to have to come to this just like you did for the tower. So let's do the walls. And I'm just going to be using stone bricks, but this is going to be randomized stone and stone bricks, just like the tower. But for ease of the tutorial, I'm just going to be using stone bricks. But remember what you're supposed to be building with. So we're going to come five across, just like this wall is right here. And we're going to keep bringing this up until we get to here. We're going to bring it up and we're going to place it in this stair area so these two parts are gonna be six and boom there we go and finally right here is gonna be the tallest part of the wall 
So there we go. You can see it's six tall of stone and stone brick completely randomized as we did for the towers. So there we go. That's what it should be looking at like guys. And now it's time to put in the details. So we're going to do an upside down stair, every other block, just like that. And then a right side up stair on top of those, just like that. Super simple. And then a slab on this top stair in between them. Boom. Looks really cool. And it's super, super easy to make. Now down here in the very middle, we're also going to add something else. We're going to put a stair like that and then we're going to put one two three leaves and then trap doors surrounding this bottom one let me grab those boom here we go trap doors all the way around and there we go that half of the wall is done and now you could do this same half on this half and then we'll do the entrance real quick guys don't forget to do this over here as well you should do this on the other side and i almost forgot to tell you that let's go right across and boom make sure you have that on both sides because this is going to be a walkway when it's in survival and you can walk from tower to tower so there we go make sure you have that on both sides and now do the same thing on this side so with both sides in place we can start this so we're going to put a log in place of these four pieces right here and both sides are going to be the same so we're just going to do the front right here what we're going to do is we're going to bring this up to the same level of the wall right there as you can see boom and what we're going to do is at the very bottom we're going to put a stair on either side like this and let me bring this side up and now what we're going to do is we're going to put an upside down stair just like this and a trap door underneath both of those now it's not in the material list but if you want you can put another trap door on these sides right here might make it look a little bit better but then we're going to grab our slabs and we're going to go over just like this one and over and then up on top of those and then boom up one more time and now guys that's super super simple so we're going to bring this right as you can see right here we're going to bring it in one more block right there and now we're going to build the same thing on this side so i'll just do it on camera real quick because it is a super super simple build right here boom bring it up to the same height as the other side right there and then we're going to bring a stair underneath with our trap doors just like this and then don't forget the trap doors or the stairs at the bottom excuse me guys and then we're going to go back up to the top and then remember the slabs over and up over and up and then all the way in the middle like that and then bring this very middle part in and don't let them connect yet because we're still going to do something else in the middle so in the very middle we have to continue this walkway or else when you're walking you're just going to fall off so just continue this straight across like that boom super simple and then in here just put a stair just like that a stone brick stair boom and then you can obviously randomize this maybe you want to have a stone right there that's fine that's super simple and then in here we're actually going to bring this down so use your slabs to bring this down until this connects as you can see i just did it right there and the same thing on this side we're just gonna put a slab on either side and then a full block in the very middle finally guys in here you can hide something in these little crevices if you want maybe some lights some plants some chests who knows what but we're gonna put a lantern right there and that's super simple there is wall number one done so come back to the beginning of the tutorial for the walls and go do that on all four of these sides put those walls in they should be a little bit easier than the towers they're a little bit more simple my walls are in and hopefully you guys have your walls in place right there it's looking good now what you can do also is put in a floor now i just used oak and stripped oak it could be whatever you want this is just what i chose to do here and whoa didn't put stairs here that was a mistake but yeah you can just put in a floor of some kind maybe some dirt maybe some stone whatever it is you're going for but we need to start the middle tower now so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start at this front entrance guys right in here just past the stairs we're gonna go one two and then put a stair we're just gonna leave that two block gap between this stair and that stair obviously it's diagonal but we're gonna leave that and they go three across now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this staircase three tall so we need to just put another block there and that's two and then just one more let's just get another temporary block here and then staircase just like that now we're going to do the same thing for the staircase on all four sides so leave that two block gap and then three just like that and i'm just going to set up myself some temporary guiding blocks to help me place these stairs but boom there we go we have the staircase on both sides and then we're going to do it on all four sides as you can see, the stairs should be all in place like this, looking all awkward and everything. But what we're going to do to fix that is come to our corners and do a little bit of this pattern right here. And we're going to do this on every side, just two and one up, just like that. Boom, two and one up. Super, super simple here. And do it all the way around like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to place another one right here and then strangely enough, we're going to place another one underneath there. So underneath and right there boom 
I'm just doing it on every side so you can get, you know, enough time to look at it. And then we're going to put a lantern on these ones right here. So it's just to give us a little bit of light on the inside. And there we go. We can start with the actual tower. Now, also, guys, when I built this in creative, I started with these pillars starting from the ground like that. So the material list is probably a little bit high for the spruce logs. So don't mind that. I'm sure you're going to need them again for another build. But we're going to what we're going to do is take this right here and put a log in each of these little spots here. But we're going to bring it up nine tall. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now we're going to do this on all four of these pillars. And with the pillars in place, you should also cover this all up with slabs. So just fill in this whole top area with slabs, and now we can start putting in the walls. So what we're going to do with the walls is stone just like this. And as you can see, it's going to be super crammed inside, but I'm going to show you what to do. So in one from the wall, we're going to bring this up a little bit taller and across because this needs to be our doorway where we're going to put a stair and then on the inside, a door so you can do this on all four sides and as you can see we're only going to have a one block gap but we're going to put a bubble vader there so it's going to be fine so put this stair on all of your sides right above the door just like this and then bring your walls up all the way up to where the pillars are let me just make sure this makes sense for you guys make sure it connects up here and then boom three by three all the way up and it's not just stone brick don't forget to take your stone out and randomize some stone in there as well when the walls are all in place, it should look pretty good. So what we're going to do is come right here and above the door on every side, leave a gap or put a stair. Three leaves that are, go all the way up to the top of this stone and then trap doors all the way around the bottom. If you don't have enough for the trap doors, you can use signs instead. It actually looks pretty good also. But again, one more time, leave the gap, three leaves and trap doors all the way around. Now go do this on all four sides. Now we can do the roof with all of this ready. So we're going to come to this side right here and place a stair out one just like this. Hopefully that's really easy to understand. And then we're going to come underneath and do an upside down stair. And then on top of that, a normal stair and then another upside down stair. And this time a block on top of that and then another stair. Whoops, another stair facing like this. And then when you hit to this point, we're going to go upside down stair in the middle and then one block and a stair on top just like that now what we're going to do guys is do this same thing on this farther side over here so we'll do it one more time right over here and with that in place we can do the other two sides as well so let me show you how we're going to do these we're going to actually start with an upside down stair on either side of that i know it's a little bit weird but now we can do the same exact thing like this and then in one more the blocks on either side stairs and then the same thing in the middle here boom 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 and you see they all come up to the same point and now we'll do that one more time on this side once you have all four of them in place we can come inside and do the blackstone roof so we're going to put one right there and then we're going to do two just like that and it should look like this from the outside if you just want another little check and then what we're going to do is bring two right here on either side and then bring one up in the middle like that so we should end up with something like this that fills in all the space and i'll do it one more time over here so boom two right here and then one right there and then fill in this middle part right there and you should end up with well let me just do it real quick something that will look like a diagonal ring just like that that's what you'll end up with on the top once you fill in all of these sides so there we go. This is what it should look like on all sides. And it should also have this shape on the top. And you're probably wondering before we get to the top, what are we going to do down here? So this is what we're going to do. We're going to just fill this in with three across and then two tall, just like that. That's what we're going to do for that. Just fill it in with stone bricks and stone completely random once again, as usual, and do that on all four sides. Also, guys, real quick, if you have extra materials, you can also go ahead and put a slab a chain and a lantern or just the lantern to make it look a little bit nicer. There we go. I think that looks pretty cool if you have the extra lantern. Back up at the top, we're going to take our spruce planks and we're just going to go around and trace this right here. Super simple. We're going to go on these four and put a trap door. Whoops, that was not correct right there. We're actually going to do it on these four. Sorry, I'm sorry, guys. Look at it. Study it. It's these four outer points. We're going to have the four square right there open for our walls which i need to grab right now so then we're going to bring it up with two stone brick walls really nice right there and this is also the point where we're going to be able to put in our bubble vader and stuff but i'll show you afterwards but now we're going to go with a stair on either side just like this and then do it over here as well boom 
and then we can do underneath a stair on all of the sides an upside down stair boom just like that right there is what it should look like and then we're going to grab our black stone we're going to do something super strange we are going to bring this up two on top of all of the upside down stairs like that and then bring the middle up three and there we go we're going to also put a trap door like this all the way and then a stair so we're going to do that on all of the sides excuse me for that there we go all of the sides are going to get these two trap doors and a stair on top and then on the very top guys you know what's coming we need the anvil we need the wall we also need the fence and the iron bar whoops i messed that up fence and iron bar there we go the top of the tower is done now we need to do a little decoration there and the bubble vader and we're done so guys to start off right in here right above this let's bring these up two more stone bricks or whatever you have to bring that up bring that up to here so that you can look out over this like that boom that's super easy and then above us we're gonna put a slab and a bell it's gonna look super cool from farther away but now we need to put in a bubble vader so just drop down through the middle and you should end up right here near your doors and the easiest way to do this is to replace that block with the soul sand and then go ahead and place in your water and make sure you have to be careful you're not waterlogging these slabs or else it's going to pour out into the world over there but make sure you just go all the way up with your water and you should have a nice bubble vader and if you did it right as you see when we open the doors the water does not flow out and when you step in you go all the way up to the top and you can look out over the mountain and everything in your watchtower and ring your bell if you need to but guys the build is done so guys, I hope so much that you enjoyed this build and hopefully people are building this in their worlds. And if you do, please, please, please send it to me over on my Instagram. I'll give you a shout out. I really just want to see if you're building it. It'll mean a lot to me. And if you haven't, go join the Discord. We do some, some amazing fun stuff over there. Still having a hard time talking today, guys. Don't mind me. But hopefully you enjoy this tutorial and share it with friends who might also like it. I hope you can impress some friends in your world together with this awesome medieval fortress guys but i'll see you in the next video in the next tutorial check out my smp the society of creation guys but thank you again for watching and subscribing if you aren't leave a like on the video to help out the algorithm but guys that's enough and i'll see you next time peace out it's been lemon slice